Hey YouTube, what's up? It's iPod Touch for Life 165 here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can stream videos, music, and photos from your PC or Mac computer onto your iPod Touch or iPhone. Now, this is a great thing to know how to do because uh, usually your iPod Touch or iPhone is limited to its 8, 16, 32, or 64 gigabytes of hard disk. Now you have uh, access to all of the space on your computer. My computer, included with uh, external hard drives, is up to 1.9 terabytes, and I keep a lot of movies on those that I uh, rip from DVDs and sometimes download. So basically, I have all of that access on my iPod Touch or iPhone, and all you need to stream is Wi-Fi. All right. So there is a one-time fee, and the one-time fee is actually just an app purchase. Uh, the name of the app is called Orb Media, and since it's an App Store application, you do not even need to be jailbroken for this. So as you can see, it's five dollars. We can click on Orb Media and install it. As you can see, I already have it installed right there. But as you can see here, it says Orb Media is a breakthrough application that provides a way to enjoy your media on the iPhone or Touch. Uh, so this is a great uh, streaming application. So you need to install that. Um, again, this is five dollars, but you can get it for free using cracked IPAs, don't recommend it, but I don't recommend it or discourage it, but do what you want to do. Anyways, bottom line is you need to get this application, uh, like I have right here. And before we can actually open it, we need to do some computer work. Uh, so let's hop onto the computer right now. And then, once we're on our computer, all we need to do is first create a folder that uh, we can name whatever we want. And inside this folder, you want to put all the media that you want to stream. So you can stream, like I said before, videos, photos, and music. And they don't even have to be in MP4 format or MP3. As long as they can be played on your computer, they can be uh, used in the streaming. So as you can see here, if I open up the streaming uh, applicate, uh, folder, I have one song, MP3 file, Faint, which is by Linkin Park. And then I have two videos, uh, Bullet in the Bible and the That 70s Show, E! True Hollywood Story. Both are AVI files, so uh, I... I like AVIs uh, more than MP4s, but MP4 is compatible with the iPod Touch or iPhone, but that, that does not even matter here because uh, as long as they can be played on my computer, they can be streamed. And then I have one photo here, which is the JPEG file, all right? So now once we've got that folder all set with all the media that, that we want to stream, you want to go to the link I have in the video description. This will take you to orb.com, and now we need to download the PC software, or PC or Mac software, that'll let us stream the content to our iPod Touch or iPhone. So uh, from this page, we want to click uh, Download. And once we're on the download page, uh, we want to install the one for our country. Uh, I'm going for English, and it's the newest version 2.5. And as you can see here, you can download it from Mac or Windows. This is not compatible with Linux yet, but they say Linux is coming soon. So uh, I am on Windows right now, so all I want to do is click the little Windows sign. And then all we need to do is click save to save the executable file or DMG file if you're on a Mac. And once the uh, setup file is saved, all we need to do is double click on it. Now the setup process should start. Alright, so this is the orb setup wizard. To start, just click next. And then you want to read the terms if you choose to. Click I agree and then uh, keep the destination folder as it says here click install now and now it's just installing the software it won't take any time at all alright and when the dialog disappears you know that the installation went well and now it's going to bring the orb account setup wizard so you want to select your language I'm um, using English so then we just want to click next and it'll prompt us with another orb account setup wizard <coughs> sorry about that um, now you want to create a login name and you want to put your email address and you want to create a password uh, now you may need to make sure that uh, your email address is your own and you typed it incorrectly because it'll send you a confirmation email and then your orb account is set up I already have an account right now so I'm just going to click login and I'm going to put in my information. And uh, once you've created your account and you log in, we can click Next.
and now it comes up with uh, by default some things some folders that it already shares we don't want any of this to be shared because uh, we don't have our media in there so all I want to do is click on it click the minus sign click yes click on it minus sign yes minus yes minus yes etc until there's no more folders in the uh, shared directory now once there's nothing here we can click the plus button and now it asks us to browse for the folder we're gonna go to our user we're gonna go to desktop and we're gonna click on that folder that we put all our media in that I named streaming just click on that click OK and now we can click next and now it's just indexing what we have inside there so it knows what to share this might take um, a little while not too long depends on how much media you put in that folder I only have four uh, files so it shouldn't take too long it might come up with a prompt saying that uh, the internet connection is down because it really does need a lot of internet for this so uh, if it does give me that message all I would have to do is go back and do the process again but for now it's just initializing it might give me that message but it might not alright so it did not give me the internet connection is down part but if it did give you that all you have to do is go back and uh, enter in the directories and click next again and you might have to do that a couple times before it, it actually does it for you but I got it on the first try this time so once it says indexing complete whether it's on your first second third try we can click next and now we are done we uh, it says congratulations we can click close and now you're ready to go back onto our iPod Touch or iPhone. All right, and now we're just going to open up Orb, the application that we already uh, downloaded. And when we first open it, it gives us the steps we need to take um, to set it up. But we've already set it up, so we can just click Next, 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 and Next. And now all we want to do is enter in our account information, my information as you can see right there. And we can click Done. And as you can see here, it says streams optimized for. Uh, you have Edge, 3G, and Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi would be your best bet because uh, the quality will be the highest. Uh, you can put it on 3G; it'd be normal quality, and Edge would be low quality. So your best bet, be bet would be to uh, stream it on Wi-Fi. But I guess if you're in the car or something, uh, you can use 3G, and that'll be okay too. But I definitely don't recommend using Edge because the quality will be really terrible. But I am on Wi-Fi now, so the quality will be very good. So I put it on Wi-Fi, and we want to click Connect. Now it's just going to verify our information and connect. And now we have these tabs down here. Audio, Video, Photo, Document, and Settings. I guess you can stream documents too, but that was the main attraction for me for this. So we'll start with Audio. Just click on the Audio tab. Then you want to click on the button that says Folders. And then uh, the name of the folder was Streaming, like I showed before. So click on that. And here is the only uh, audio file, so we just got to click on that, and it'll start playing it for us. It just takes a second to buffer it. And we can uh, scroll through anywhere through the song we want to listen to. Just click play, and it'll take let's just a couple of seconds to buffer it. All right, so that's the audio. Then we can go into the video. We want to click this little back button here after we've paused it, and we want to go into video. And again, we're going to click on folders, see streaming, and then it's going to show us the two video files, which were the bullet in the Bible and the uh, true Hollywood story. For now, I'm going to go for the uh, bullet in a Bible, Green Day. I'll just click on that. We can view in portrait or landscape. This might just take a couple seconds to buffer. And then you'll see the scrolling lines. And as you can see, the quality is really good right now, guys, because I'm on Wi-Fi. Um, it's almost the quality as it was on my computer. And we can see through anywhere we want as well. Like I said, like for the audio, it would just take a couple seconds for it to buffer. Alright guys, 
And then the last one is um, the uh, pictures. So we can click the pause button, click the back, bu back button. Alright. And we want to go into photo, folders again, see streaming, and just click on that one photo. And it'll appear immediately. And we can even save it to our picture library. So if I click save, it'd be saved right into my photo application so I can view it at any time. And then we can just go back. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If it did, make sure to rate it 5 stars. And of course, uh, favorite it and comment below. And of course, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. That would really help, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.